long time now Get a YouTube or Zafa Just to get you some lunch and some supper Things them go bad always wrong Carry on with your fix of Island Vibes, courtesy of DJ Jack Kings, man. Love me, but he's I go by the level by Wasses or it's by Mo on every social media platform. And today is Thursday, and when it's Thursday, you know it's regular Thursday on Y in the morning. Everything live from live DJ mixes to live music, courtesy of the band that we just had in studio, uh, the Mystic uh, Band. Uh, every single week on Thursday, we try to give you something live from live music to live DJ mixes. 22162 is the SMS line. Start with YM254. Don't forget to leave your name. And where you're watching us from, your requests are invited. Your views, your comments as well. It's time for music and lifestyle. And my guest of the day, you guys have been waiting on him for a whole week now, but he's here now. He's an award-winning music producer, uh, performer, and recording artist. And he goes by the name of Wairi the Lab Chat. Why one, brother? Why one, bro? Everything good, man. Uh, everything, Iri. Thanks for having me, man. <laughs> Karibu sana, Iri. Asante. I've been shuka. looking forward to this. Uh, kabisa, kabisa. I'm so glad I finally met you, Iri. Asante, bro. Uh, I hear what around town is that you're one of the uh, the child superstars that we have around here. At the child. Can you tell? Uli blowabu kwa high school. Is it true, Iri? Tulianza grind to mapema, man. I recorded my first song while I was in high school. So it's been a minute. It's been a but we give thanks, man. We're still here doing what we love, man. All right. So there's a uh, production aspect of Wairi, yeah. uh, recording and performing. Yeah. Which one came first? Uh, definitely the songwriting and, uh -huh. and, and singing. Uh -huh. And then I got into recording, mm -hmm. the recording phase. And then I, 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 I got into uh, now the music production side of things. All right. Yeah. And uh, till date, you're still producing? Yes. And recording. De definitely. Uh, are you producing for other artists as well? Yes, yes. I've worked with quite a number of artists mm -hmm. over the years. Um, uh, I, I worked with, um, I was privileged enough to work with uh, Achenga Bura, uh -huh. Gidi Gidi Maji Maji, uh -huh. uh, Red Sun, Prezo, you know. Some of the legends around here. Uh -huh. yeah, you so work with Red Sun as well? Yeah, yeah. As a producer? Yes, yes. There's no collab with you? No we did, it. but quite quite some time ago. Quite some time yeah, ago. Yeah. All right. So you've always been championing dancehall and reggae music in Kenya, which is a good thing. Trying, just trying yeah. to play my, <laughs> <laughs> trying to play my part, man. Uh -huh. But you guys are doing a great job, man. Big up for uh, uh, Y254 for having a you know a reggae, a reggae, the theme a reggae show in the in, in the midweek in the morning, man. Uh -huh. Big it's up rare. yourself, man. It's not been seen around uh, here. Uh, pushing the move. Why did you say that? Two two one six two is the SMS line. Start with YM254. Don't forget to leave your name. And where you're watching us from, your views, your comments, and your questions are invited. And you can direct them to Wairi today. We need you one better. So, Wairi, uh, there's a time back, you guys were bringing back the noise. Yeah. Everybody's curious about this story. Uh, actually, for your, for, your, for your info, we've been working behind the scenes a lot. Uh -huh. And uh, the album is done. Mm -hmm. So it's just about releasing the, the singles <laughs> one by one at the, at the right time. You know uh -huh. what I mean? It's all about uh, planned schedule release. Because uh -huh. we don't always any singles, man. From your experience, you you understand that you need to plan it. Oh yeah, definitely. Because uh -huh. you, you could you could waste a project, man, easily. So you need to maximize uh, in, uh -huh. in any way you can. Uh -huh. Dynamics have really changed of of pushing music of late, man. When we started off, there, there was no social media. There was uh -huh. no just put it on radio. Stations were like what? Maybe like three or four main uh -huh. stations. Now nowadays, if you if you want to do a media tour, you do like <laughs> <laughs> like, like a hundred stations. Oh, so by the time you cover, it's like a month. It's like a month. Yeah. So and things things are really changed. Thing. Because it's pushing music. No, no it is. Yeah. Um, there's also many more artists right now, which, uh -huh. which is a good thing for the industry. The industry uh -huh. is growing. Uh, there's more competition, which, mm -hmm. which, which makes it... Uh, uh, which is a really good thing. It keeps... Uh, it keeps is healthy. No, it keeps you, yeah, keeps you, uh, you as an artist on tours, for All sure. Right. Mm. Uh, Nazizi is going to the States, I heard. Yes, yeah, she, she has a scheduled tour uh -huh. uh, for the US. Uh, I'm not sure when she's traveling. But uh -huh. yeah, she's been busy as well. She's been Part busy. Part of the reason we haven't managed to quite bring back the noise because uh -huh. uh, it's either she's on tour or I'm on tour. Uh -huh. So at times linking up is a bit tricky. Do you have a title for the album? Uh, that's a secret for that's now. That's a secret. <laughs> All right. Uh, what secret. type of sound are we looking at? Um, there's, there's, okay, we've, we've both grown uh, and matured as artists. Mm -hmm. um, she's refined her art as, 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 as an MC mm -hmm. uh, and as a singer as well. Um, I've grown in dance all as well and, mm -hmm. and, and also in composition. So expect uh, much more mature in then. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but we still bring back the noise, man. The vibe has to all be right. there. Do you have wire <laughs> on production? Yes, uh -huh. yes, definitely. Exclusively wire. No, not me, not me totally. Uh -huh. uh, we worked with uh, a couple of producers. 
All right. Mm. So uh, you've always been known for championing uh, dancehall and reggae music yeah. in East Africa. And uh, yes, you've worked with a couple of East African artists yeah. and uh, Jamaican artists, very big ones. Uh, are there plans to link up uh, the South, down South Africa, West Africa, Central Africa? If yeah, there is actually, the, the past couple of years, I've been working with a couple of other reggae and dancehall artists uh, around Africa. I've mm -hmm. worked with, a, with a, uh, an amazing artist from SA called NC Dread. Uh, I've worked with a um, couple of also Nigerian and Ghanaian dancehall artists uh, who, 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 who have quite a good vibe. Uh -huh. um, what I love about collaborations is, is it gets you into, into other markets that you haven't mm -hmm. ventured into. Um, um, the, mom the moment I voiced the relationship with him, I started getting spins in, in the Caribbean, you uh -huh. know, because I mean? it's their production. So for Are me, you um, very big there? Uh, trying to get <laughs> <laughs> trying to get there uh, but we, i mean we're playing our part at least, at least the, at least this, this we're getting the spins uh, -huh. uh but it could be better definitely uh -huh. so we're still working on that All right. but yeah uh i'm curious uh cuz you're a legend in the game yeah, uh, trying to be trying to be you're a legend right <laughs> trying to get there but who got to your classic about? records on on the board uh -huh. uh, you've done the numbers uh from the first album necessary yeah. noise drop uh, so you're a legend, right? Uh, I'd like to know, uh, the industry right now, uh, what is it that you love about the industry right now before I go to what pisses you off uh, about the industry right I now? What I love about it is there's new music coming out every day. Uh -huh. uh, Yanni, it's, it's, it's really growing. Uh -huh. You know, everybody wants to be an artist. I, mean, I get to meet so many mm -hmm. artists everywhere I go, man. In the, in the supermarket, I'm like, hey, what's up? Uh, why I love your music. Uh, uh -huh. Here's you my album. <laughs> you know, I just work, uh, drop uh -huh. my new single. And, and for me, that's a, that's a big plus for the industry because mm -hmm. uh, everybody uh, desires that, that career, you know. Uh -huh. Uh, which is a big thing. Back then, you, you used to mention that you want to be a musician, and guys uh -huh. are like, "Hey, chief," huh? and and your real job is. <laughs> <laughs> what <laughs> you know do you mean? do apart from music? Exactly. Uh -huh. um, but yeah, it's come a long way. Uh -huh. Maybe what I don't like about the industry right now is uh, not every artist gets the, the kind of exposure that they need. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I don't. I wouldn't blame the media, but mm -hmm. it, it's. Because of the stiff competition that, uh, that's uh -huh. there, there's so much good music out there, but uh -huh. that doesn't get played. Uh -huh. uh, but it's because th th there's, too, there's, there's so many artists there's out there. Also you know too what I mean? Much, yes. So even at, at times, I, I think media gets overwhelmed. Uh -huh. So you really have to uh, to fight to get that, that that space up there. You know, uh -huh. to get played. So it's very competitive. Yeah, very. Which is not that much of a bad thing, anyway. <laughs> no, no, it's it's uh -huh. good for the industry. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just uh, it just means that the, the artist has to has to work two times harder, man. You know, right. you, you to uh -huh. get that recognition. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's one way. So uh, I'll take you back to necessary noise. I know this is always <laughs> no, no, it's all good. <laughs> a topic of conversation. Uh, the album that you guys did, uh, the first album. First album. I hear you guys did like uh, half a million records across East Africa. Is it true? First, well, if you say units combined, because uh, back then we had tapes. Uh -huh. That guys were buying more tapes uh, uh -huh. than CDs. CDs also were just coming into the market. Mm -hmm. uh, in terms of figures, I need to get back to you on that. Uh -huh. All uh, right. I'm not going to mention any. Yeah. Yeah. But it did pretty well. well. <laughs> did pretty well. Um, back then, uh, I think what made the music big was uh, what we used to do on stage. Uh -huh. I remember one of our first major shows uh, was Safari Sands back then, mm -hmm. and uh, we were three guys in the group, me, Nazizi, and Bamzi, mm -hmm. and we got onto stage with three Ducati bikes, man. You uh -huh. know what I mean? Stunting, stunting. Through the, we, drove, we, we rode through the crowd, uh -huh. got onto stage, and they, 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 they put uh, pyrotechnics and we lit fire on stage, and me and Bamzi jumped through the fire to get onto stage man it was crazy man so you guys were this. yeah so so on uh, by the the following week guys were calling the station have you wh how come you guys don't have necessary noise did you see what they did on saturday <laughs> so the pressure came uh, from from the stage performance and, and the hype i remember we launched our album in in okay back then there was a club called by italia uh -huh. um and we did the same thing but now me and bumsy jumped through the fire uh -huh. and then nas started her verse through the crowd she came through uh -huh. 
and there was a lady who saw her she didn't expect her she saw her and she she just passed out man <laughs> so all that hype we used yeah. to cause on stage is what really made it now the music big guys started pressing the station uh-huh. hey what's up man you don't have necessary noise what do you mean uh-huh. yeah and 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 that's how the the, the hype came about a lot of things were premeditated yeah, yeah. who was choreographing all these things who's the creative <gasps> i'd say i'd say we had a, we had a very strong team uh, uh-huh. back then back then we were under a label called audio vault mm-hmm. uh big up ted josiah on production uh-huh. uh, big up david murray the our first manager and there was a guy called uh, roger roger who uh, used to handle now uh, all the stage hype and, and the props and everything mm-hmm. So it was very well calculated and, and that hype really worked for us. All right. I recently I just met up with someone who was in Lenana High School. Uh-huh. And we did one of our first shows there. Uh-huh. And he was like, "Dude, when I was in I was in Form 1." <laughs> <laughs> and now he's a grown <laughs> When you guys came man. you guys came through in a drop top bima, uh-huh. you know, came on stage, you lit fire on stage, you performed in out. It was crazy. So in like, a dude, you were <laughs> in a high school. <laughs> and I'm like, "How old are you now?" <laughs> That uh, that's the reason I, I call you a legend, why? Right? Because yeah, it's been a while, and you guys started doing these things a long time. Ago. But we give thanks, man. All right. So Another question about uh, necessary noise. This song, tension. If so many people related to this. Tension. Song. Yes. Actually, the concept was Nazizis, man. She uh-huh. she was like, you know, um, how about write a song a- about different situations that you get in. Which caused tension, you know what I mean? So Ted was like, "That's a brilliant idea, man." You know what I mean? Uh-huh. So everybody started celebrating different situations, <laughs> and then, luckily, um, at that point, TID and, and Jemo went, 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 went Nairobi uh-huh. doing a tour as well, and so we roped in Jemo. He came and he murdered that, that, that bus, man. He killed <laughs> it, man. Yeah. And so yeah, that was a, it was a great project. I'm curious, uh, what these uh, things, some things that you were going through back. Yeah, some of this ju- yes. <laughs> you know what i believe as a, as a as a as an artist as a writer you should be able to write about situations that y- you're not in mm-hmm. yourself some of them could be situations you're, that you're in uh-huh. but as a writer you need you have that creativity to put yourself in somebody else's situation and write about it mm-hmm. you need to be that flexible all right yeah. amazing tension was a big song i Thank related you. to the Thank song you, <laughs> which part uh, Uh, the girlfriend part <laughs> <laughs> moving on swiftly there's easy say some things that i really related to as well 2162 is as a slide start with ym254 don't forget to leave your name and where you're watching us from your views your questions and your comments are invited your questions today you can direct them to iri uh, your requests you can direct them to ja kingsman himself all right so kingsman uh do you have a microphone I want a microphone. Na jua nataka kuongea na wewe sana. All right. Niambie. Mhm. Salimia waire. Uh Uliza waire swali imekuwa ikusumbua sana jua. Waire ama necessary noise. Eh. Swali ni kibao sana. Inataka tu hoteli tukae down. Yeah. All right. Who's buying? Kingsman is buying. To organize kalanchi hivi. Kalanchi za Kingsman. Eh. Tashugulikia tukai tu down Aha. na notebooks Aha. na bairo. Tuonge. Sabi zana ke. Nimekuwa kwa the spot. The spot's video, right? Alright. Uh, uh, so, uh, why it? The reason we're here today is uh, Mimi na wewe. The song. Yeah, Mimi na ye. Mimi na ye. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright. Uh, I think it's because of Adija na Isubiri. Yeah. You know, it's, <laughs> it's playing in my head. Anyway, Mimi na ye, the song. Yeah. Uh, this is your late, latest release. Yeah, latest uh mm-hmm. tell me about this. Um I I've, I've been getting a lot of pressure from from dance or massive. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a huge army out there. Oh, uh, your dance or fans. They are like I like the boss umetuacha sana. Hata mimi niko kwa bana. So so they like I was like you know what um yeah, let me hit up uh, I called Yulopa. Mm-hmm. Uh we hadn't worked in a while because the last project we worked with him was was my was two albums ago it was um, the 10 years wiser album. Uh-huh. So I was like chief man oh, we need to work on a, something that's that street. Uh-huh. So uh, I gave I told them the kind of beat I was looking for. Mm-hmm. And I uh, and uh, what I did uh, when I had it I loved it so I started vibing on it and mm-hmm. I decided to 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 blend some sheng and patwa and mm-hmm. uh, that's the way like the vibe that came out man. All right. Yeah. When you say street uh when I say street it may be in UK it means a different thing. Yeah. When I say it in the states it's street it's street the, the street and the I hood. Man. I needed a vibe that, uh-huh. that uh, you know you know beat you here and you know you want to just chop it. That's the hoodie dance. I mean you know I like a chief when I have to nini. Mm-hmm. 
and also the lingo, you know, um, <coughs> the street vibe, the language you use, man. Uh -huh. if, if it connects to the street, guys can relate to it more. So it's for I, I wanted a man. hit for, for, for the matris, man. Uh -huh. And big up all the selectors, man, for... Uh -huh. for, for uh, Come on, put, Kings, man. Uh -huh. You guys are representing uh, harder. Uh -huh. For putting all the mixes in, uh, uh, the jam in the new mixes, I'm getting so much response, man. The guys mm -hmm. are tweeting, saying, hey, hey, Chief, to go quite matri. Do it 44, do it not a chicken gomel cook or mix big up. So it, the the response has been overwhelming and, uh -huh. and, and I'm grateful for that. All right, amazing. Uh, so you love to produce this? Yeah. Uh, so sometimes you feel like uh, you want to work with a different producer? Yeah. You want to get off your zone? Yeah, I think, I think as, an, as an artist, you, you should be versatile. Uh -huh. um, and different producers and engineers bring out different, a different vibe out. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? So you. If you don't want to sound monotonous, work with different people, man. Mm -hmm. If you don't want to sound monotonous, work with different people. Wise words from Wiry himself. 22162 is the SMS line. Start with YM254. Never ever forget to leave your name and where you're watching as from. Uh, as I said, your requests are invited. Direct them to Kingsman. Uh, your questions are invited. Invited, direct them to Wiry. Uh, Wiry, uh, they say they want to hear you sing. <laughs> they want to hear you sing. You picked early morning for me to sing, man. It's a bit <laughs> Cardiac bass. Uh -huh. Cardiac bass. Okay, I'm good. Pump it on the speakers, man. Sindi Chenye na fanya maisha ni mwangu nyumbandi Mwangu nyumbandi Mliti tangi keti nye marafiki Kumbendia zenu zilikuwa kundi Kunitea nisha na mpenzi Wado yangu na kuniata masha kandi Tabandi and everybody sing to Kino Nai Sindi Ki Waza Tensi Mlibyo di tole akuni hudi Bila matoke yo yani Chu Kino Nai Sindi Ki Waza Tensi Mlibyo di tole akuni hudi First up, in the quality, me explain to you Hey, my listener, giving full attention for you Second quality, always full of loyalty to you Never slip away, wanna be untrue to you Third quality, not only your lover but your friend Truly a companion, yes, until the very end Fourth quality, stand by his woman every day Not a situation, I be making move away Yeah, uh, this an uprising Yeah, uh, this an uprising Feed the youth from the scene Tell them not to lose open life Now you see uprising Yeah, I had this in uprising Yeah, I had this in uprising Feed the youth from the scene Tell them not to lose open life Now you see Foundation of the future Be the only thing and the focus of the youths And whether get a youths or the uptown youths And you know matter strap and your giddy and boots And reading off the burn down corruption Burn drug abuse and burn negativity in life for the youths And we no one percent fight anymore We no one percent fight This an uprising Yeah, ah, this an uprising Yeah, ah, this an uprising Feed the youths from the scene Tell them not to lose up in life Now you see uprising Yeah, ah, this an uprising Yeah, ah, this an uprising Feed the youths from the scene Tell them not to lose up in life Now you see Ease off <laughs> Ease. 
only on my in the morning <laughs> uh, with DJ Kings man himself. So why uh, some questions of Kevin for you. Okay. And be nice, uh, they're going to be really <laughs> They're going to put you on the spot, I'm sure. You'll just hear silence. <laughs> 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 All right, so somebody is asking, Unge kwa kwa body a Grammy? Inge nda chronic sama Damien Mali? I'm a big fan of both. Nan miskiza album zote mbili, so inge wa tight. Lakini? No, uti yami na Damien Mazi. You know what? Day one. Trust me, Damien from day one. Uh -huh. um, I'll tell you a funny story about Damien. Damien, uh, I got his... His second album, which was called uh, my first, one of my first reggae albums, uh -huh. uh, in 2000 and I think 2003. Uh -huh. That's a long time. Yeah, uh -huh. was uh, was Halfway Tree uh -huh. by Damien Mali. So um, I got, and I was excited. What I loved about Damien, he changed the reggae vibe. Uh -huh. He brought a whole new vibe to reggae and dancehall, man. Lyrically, flow-wise, uh -huh. it was crazy. I love the bass lines, especially. Oh, it's crazy. Yeah. And then now, 10 years later, I, I was standing outside the halfway tree, uh -huh. shooting my video. Uh -huh. And I had the clock. The, see, the cover of, of the halfway tree, uh -huh. Damien's uh, 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 album, Damien uh -huh. started standing in front of the clock, the halfway uh -huh. tree clock. 10 years later, I was shooting my video in front of the same clock, so even, right. even the behind the scenes, I was so, <laughs> you're so excited. I was like, baby, you just give it candy. I've come a long way. For me, it, yeah. it was very symbolic uh -huh. uh, to be able to, to, to get, uh, to, uh, to, to be able to shoot my video in, in the uh -huh. same spot, man. It's for such me, an inspiration. It was, for, for it was very symbolic, man. So, so you're kind of loyal to them. For me, I was very, very <laughs> humble. So, so my vote would go to them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So if you had a chance to tour the, the UK or the, the US. Yeah. Which one would be your first pick? First, I've done both. You've I've done both. Uh, 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 but currently, as you can see the music uh, and how the both the populations are vibing to what type of music? T both both markets have their dynamics. Uh -huh. um, but I'd say right now the UK is really jumping onto the, to the African vibe. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? And uh, the dance vibe. African well. artists are packing out uh -huh. Wembley Stadium, you uh -huh. know what I mean? O2 Arena, it's ridiculous. Uh -huh. So, um, I think that's uh, the UK right now is really is, is really looking down to, to Africa, uh, looking looking back to Africa, and, and uh, they're feeling the vibe right now. Although US also, uh -huh. uh, they're they're really warming up right now. So they're both really uh, good markets right now. If you ask uh -huh. me, they're yeah. both good markets yeah. for Harry. Mm. Uh -huh. Nice one, Harry. So as we come to the end of this, I'm pretty sure they know your social media handles, but you can just say them again, Harry. Yeah, let me not assume. <laughs> yeah, it's a, <laughs> yeah, on Instagram, you can get me on Wired, Wired the Love Child, Wired DA Love Child. Mm -hmm. uh, Twitter, Wired DA Love Child as well. Um, Facebook, Wired Fan Page. Yeah, mm -hmm. nice way. All right, what next for Harry? What should we look out for? A lot more That's music, man. I've been working. Uh -huh. Guys were saying, but uh -huh. what I was doing is actually working behind the scenes. Uh -huh. So at the right time, you're going to have a lot, uh, many more new singles coming out. Many more sure. new singles. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, you forgot YouTube. YouTube is, the YouTube most is just wire channel. Wire channel. Just wire channel. So yeah. they head straight to wire channel. Yeah, and check uh, out my new video, man. Check out the new video. Mimi Mi Naye. Mimi Naye. And big up, big up uh, the video director, Deska Torres. He really came through with the, with the, with the amazing visuals. Uh -huh. And also, you know, big up. Canon. Yeah, he's Kenyan. He's Kenyan. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh, I'd like to big up all the selectors out there for pushing Kenyan music to to, to the maximum. Man, mm -hmm. you guys are doing a great job. Uh -huh. Respect, Sana. I uh, see selector Arafat. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> uh, big up all the the the, the, the artists, uh, especially reggae and dancehall artists in Kenya doing your thing, man. Mm -hmm. um, thanks for uh, keeping the culture alive, man. And let's keep at it. Let's go, let's go make more. All right, talking about can. Kenyan artists who are doing dancehall and uh, reggae. Uh, which are some of the who are some of the new ones that you so vibe into? Well, well so, some of my favorite ones. I, I've I've been a big uh, fan of Verbal. Verbal. Uh -huh. Verbal man is a from way back, yeah. Amazing dance dancehall artist, man. Uh -huh. I've worked with him actually. I've got some unreleased stuff uh -huh. I'm planning to drop with him soon. Um, there's uh, there's Dula. Dula is doing some, some great stuff. Uh -huh. um, there's Dufla. Dufla as well. Uh, he, he brought his own vibe into into into, uh -huh. uh, into dancehall as well. Uh -huh. uh, big up Gravity, doing their thing right now, man. Gravity uh, band. Uh, we've got amazing uh -huh. Roots Connection. Uh -huh. A Silly uh, Dub. Yeah? Have you heard of A Silly Dub? No, no, I haven't. Oh, it's a very cool band. We had them yeah. here some time back. Yeah, okay. Uh, I love Kevin Brown as well. Oh, yeah. He's got a great sound. Oh, you know mm -hmm. Kevin Brown. Mm -hmm. 
Amazing. Ah, I think we can. <laughs> we have a similar taste in music. Mm -hmm. We can vibe. Thank you very much, Wairi, for coming through. No, no, thanks uh, for having me. Much You're good as well. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Thank you for coming through, Wairi. I'm looking forward to seeing you again and again, bringing us more content, more videos. When I drop the next tune, uh, I'll definitely be here. Asante uh, sana. I would rather only. Ni pikiye siku akuna traffic mazee. Why was late on the day? And apologies for last week. I was was meant to come through, but unavoidable circumstances. Yeah, unfortunately I couldn't make it. But yeah, thanks thanks for having me on today, man. This is home. This is home of Kenyan music, Kenyan culture, and everything. This has been another segment of music and lifestyle, and we had Wairi the lifestyle today, gracing uh, the studio uh, uh, for us with his new song, Mimi Na Yaya. It's on YouTube. Head straight to Wairi channel on YouTube. Subscribe, share, like, and tell your friends about it. And let's just promote Kenyan music, reggae, reggae music in Kenya as well. I go by the name of Barry Moses, or it's Barry Moon on every social media platform. And I had uh, DJ Kingsman himself, or oh, Jack Kingsman Ali Batizwa. Leo, two more shout out. Jina unasema, ni king man, unashika. Oh, jina king man. Jina king man. Aha. Ah. I don't know why I got the S <laughs> from. <laughs> but Jali Lipata. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Safi, so I'm going to read the social media. 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 Uh huh. So si juta tumia kamera gani yani to big up to me three up uh -huh. so uh, at first uh, nataka ku big up vibe sound screw dj blessing flashy kalifa mm -hmm. spin ni big up uh, dj pedi ni uh -huh. big up uh, boys wangu uh, victor ako behind the scenes uh -huh. eh our rasta liko hapa big up yourself mystic band why uh -huh. uh, Weni mtu yangu Sentinel Sound South Africa definitely on a stream live yeah on white five four channel definitely yeah alafu wanaweza nipata anywhere and everywhere DJ Kingman Kenya DJ Kingman yeah all right uh, Jacking man, <laughs> Jacking man, you are a rasta. Bless up, bless up. All right, a sad, sad DJ Kingman. Uh, why are you any last few bucks? Um, mm -hmm. no, man. Uh -huh. So, yeah, tune into my, 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 my channel, my YouTube channel to check out the new music video. Uh -huh. yeah, I think DJ Kingman's about to drop it. Yes, Mimi Naye. Uh-huh. So you. tomorrow happens to be a special day as well. We'll be at MKU. We are celebrating our first year anniversary as Y254 channel. If you uh, if you come up on the road trips to Endethika, MKU will be live from 3 p.m. That's our third stop now. Uh, and tomorrow happens to be that day that we host guests from the text line. 22162 is it? Starting with YM254. We'll get our dance crew from the text line. We'll get our guest artists from the text line. And our guest DJs.